So, so what, what do you tell Jeff Horn? I mean, let's fight. I mean, let's fight. I mean, let's fight. I mean, really nothing else to say. I mean, he has a belt, I have a belt. Let's unify. Let's unify. Let's unify. What happens in that time? But I got a belt now, so okay. why? Okay. okay. Sean Porter got a belt, too. Also, oh, oh, so now... Sean Porter got a belt, too. <laughs> Sean Porter so why, so why, why, so why am I go to Easy Road and not Sean Porter out? So why, why, so why am I go to Easy Road and not Sean Porter out? So why, why, so why am I go to Easy Road and not Sean Porter out? So why, why, so why am I go to Easy Road and not Sean Porter out? Oh, that was different. Because that sounds to me, Mike, like a duck. So what I do, YouTube? It's your boy King David in this thing, and I'm back at y'all again with another video. Okay, so before I get going on the video, man, y'all know what to do. Go ahead, hit the like button, and if you're new here, be sure to subscribe one time for your boy, so we can continue to grow like we need to grow on this channel. You know what I mean? So yes, yeah, sir, man. Y'all see what the title of the video is, man? Scam alert, man. Scam alert. I, I could smell the scam coming a mile away, y'all. I say I can smell the scam coming a mile away, y'all. You know what I mean? All right, so let me break this down for y'all. So Earl Spence hasn't announced his fight with Keith Thurman, right? And as a result, we be getting a lot of speculation as to why that is, right? A lot of people believe that the reason that Keith Thurman and Earl Spence hasn't been announced yet is because they're working on this fight with a Terrence Bud Crawford. That's what a lot of people believe, right? And a lot of people believe that because we've been getting a lot of reports lately. A lot of reports from these quote unquote sources that Bud Crawford and Earl Spence are negotiating directly, right? That they've agreed to terms. All these different little updates on top of the updates on top of the updates. They've agreed to terms. Somebody agreed to everything. This is happening and that is happening. When the reality of the situation is there are several glaring holes that would suggest that all these reports are fake as hell. You know what I mean? One of the bigger or one of the biggest details in regards to that is that terence crawford and earl spence are negotiating directly meaning earl spence is talking to terence crawford terence crawford's talking to earl spence and together they're working on the fight i mean if that ain't ridiculous i don't know what it is how could earl spence a guy who can't even pee without al Heyman, right a guy who wasn't even present in the initial negotiations at all go from not being present at all to being the guy who's negotiating directly with a Terrence Bud Crawford so the shit really don't add up right the shit really don't add up but the reason I'm doing this video is because I feel like all these reports all these updates that we're getting I feel like there's a more nefarious purpose right I feel like there's a scam brewing y'all I feel like there's a scam brewing I don't think that Bud Crawford and Earl Spence are negotiating at all. I, I don't think they're talking at all. I think the most that they probably doing is playing Call of Duty online together, right? I don't think they're talking at all. And not only do I not think that they're talking at all, I think they're using Bud Crawford's name in order to promote this trash ass Keith Thurman fight, right? And furthermore, I think they setting Bud Crawford up once again to make it look like he's the reason why the fight didn't happen right in order to take attention away from earl spence being the biggest duck in professional boxing they once again playing a hand to try to make it seem like it's bud crawford's fault as for why the fight didn't happen right that's what i think is going on right now right and let me break it down. Let me break it down why I believe that that's what the fuck is happening right now, right? So the first reason I think 
that this is what's going on that this is a big old scam it's history right history leads me to this conclusion the pbc al Heyman, these dudes are famous for pump faking these dudes are, are are famous for the smoke and mirrors for the slide of hand these dudes are famous for scam artist like behavior fraudulent like behavior right a few years ago or a year ago or so bud crawford became a free agent november of 2021 at that moment bud crawford was willing and able to make the fight with an earl spence jr right after four years of complaining about bud crawford being on the wrong side of the street bud crawford was willing and able to make the fight with earl spence jr at that particular time earl spence decided to fight your dennis ugas right he decided to fight your dennis ugas but not only did he decide to fight your dennis ugas in this next fight he let all the boxing fans believe that that entire time he was negotiating with Bud Crawford, right? He led us all to believe he was negotiating with Bud Crawford when the reality of the situation is it was all about Ugas the entire time, right? A similar experience happened right afterwards, right? With those negotiations. Earl and Bud are supposed to be negotiating. Meanwhile, Al Heyman's dragging out the negotiation with his mommy being sick. Right? Ain't that right, Bud? Al, I said, since this fight is dragging on with me and Spence, and we can't get things together, why don't I come out and meet you with my lawyer and we just wrap it up? Just me and you and my lawyer. Al said, you know. His, his mother was, you know what I mean, not doing too well. And I honor that and I respect that, you know. So Al Mommy's sick. And as a result, the fight gets drugged on and on and on. Until finally Bud Crawford decides to fight someone else. Which is when these dudes want to flip the script. And make it seem like it was Bud Crawford's fault. For why the fight couldn't happen to begin with. But the reality of the situation is... Even if they had intended on making a fight with Earl Spence Jr., we still ain't got a scheduled fight date for when Earl Spence is supposed to fight next, right? And we all the way in March of 2023, right? When the scheduled fight date was supposed to be for November of 2022. So, you know, it's all a scam to me. That's the first reason it's all a scam, bro. These dudes want to blame Bud Crawford. They got a they got a routine. They got a whole formula in place of blaming Bud Crawford for what wouldn't have happened anyway, right? But that's the first reason I think that this is a scam. The second reason I think that this is a scam is because all you got to do is look at what's happening right now, right? The WBC president Mauricio Suleron did an interview where he stated that he sanctioned the fight, a mandatory fight for Keith Thurman and Earl Spence to take place at 154 pounds, right? Which y'all think the PBC did that for no reason? Y'all think the PBC didn't have nothing better to do but to send requests to the WBC in order to sanction a fight? At 154 for 147, you think the PBC ain't had nothing better to do. But then the, send a request to the WBA to get Earl Spence an extension from his mandatory, which is standing on us. You think the PBC ain't had nothing better to do. But to put in all that work just so Earl Spence can fight somebody like a Bud Crawford instead of a Keith Thurman. You think the PBC did all that? Just to fight a uh, Terrence Bud Crawford, y'all gotta make it make sense, man. Right? Y'all gotta make it make sense. Right? And then, on top of that, you have Earl Spence tweeting that he's spinning the block, right? 
You got Earl Spence tweeting that he's spinning the block. Now, normally that would be good news for boxing fans. Normally we would want Earl Spence to spin the block because that's what he said he was going to do. Right? But real boxing fans can't help but notice the timing of Earl Spence actually spinning the block. Right? Days after Bud Crawford was mandated by the WBO to defend his title against Alexis Rocha, that's the time when Earl Spence wants to spin the block right when the wbo gives bud crawford 20 days to defend his belt versus alexis rocha earl spence want to spin the block then right coincidence y'all y'all think that's a coincidence come on man come on man i just smell the scam coming bro you know what i mean I just smell the scam coming. I just smell it, bro. It's in the air to me, bro. I smell the scam coming, bro. At the end of the day, I honestly and truly believe, bro, that as soon as Bud Crawford announces fight with Alexis Rocha, I think that's when we're going to get an announcement about Keith Thurman, bro. I think at that moment, that's when we'll get a Keith Thurman announcement. And you know what these flaw ass niggas going to say out here? These flaw ass niggas gonna once again turn around and say Bud ducked out of some kind of negotiation that was never confirmed to be happening to begin with. They gonna say Bud ducked out of some sort of negotiation in order to fight Alexis Rocha. No one fooling well. Earl Spence is fighting Keith Thurman next, right? Not only is Earl Spence fighting Keith Thurman next, but he's known that he's been fighting, that he was going to fight Keith Thurman next. Since the day, the same day that Bud Crawford announced his fight with David Avenesian. Right. But these niggas are going to try to play dumb. You know, they're going to try to play stupid. But at the end of the day, it's all a scam to me, bro. I smell the scam, bro. I just smell it, man. But let me know your thoughts, bro. Let me know. Am I reaching? Do y'all think that this is a scam? Let me know, man. Hit it up in the comment section below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. And everybody, and I do mean everybody, be sure to hit that goddamn like button on your way out. But until next time, bro, I'm going to holler at y'all. Peace.